ask you a question. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling a little, uh, well, confused, overwhelmed um, with, with being diagnosed with, with, with type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. And I just, uh, there's just so much information to take in, yeah, there um, is. to learn, and uh, I'm just so overwhelmed that there's, there's different types of medication. Um, I have to take it at certain times, like before or after or during my meals. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. um, I got to watch out for their signs of if I haven't had enough um, insulin or I haven't eaten mm -hmm. or if I've eaten too much and didn't take my insulin. And then there's hypo and hyperglycemia, which yeah. I'm not sure which one is good or which one's bad or okay. if they're both bad. Um, yeah. So it's just a lot of information. Um, yeah, so. I really wanted to ask you if I could stay with you for maybe three or four days, maybe oh, even longer, absolutely. Um, just so you could sort of help me out with all, all this. Oh, my gosh, absolutely, dear. Come on over, you know, bring all your stuff. You can stay in the guest room, okay. Um, okay. you know, and we'll work through this together. Right, great. Right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I really appreciate absolutely. that. Absolutely. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are good you? Morning. I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Good. Pretty good. My name's Blaine. I'm going to be the nurse taking care of you this shift, okay? Okay, hi, Blaine. And you are? I'm uh, a, my, my name is Rusty Zoreb. Okay, and your date of birth? It's uh, November 6th, 1989. Okay, great. And you are? I'm Mrs. Zoreb. I'm Rusty's mother, and he's going to be staying with me for a few days um, after he's discharged from the hospital. Okay. Just, you know, so that we can work together to kind of figure this whole thing sure. out. Sure, great. Great. So, Rusty, you're okay with your mom being here while we talk about Oh, oh absolutely. Today? Yeah. Yeah, I want her here. Great. Actually. Thank and you. And how are you feeling today? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling much better than, than the other day. Okay. Um, but there's just so much information to learn. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it, I, I want to be able to deal with having diabetes. Yeah. But there's a million details to remember. There are. And I just feel overwhelmed. There right is. Now. There's a lot to learn. Um, we're going to be going over a little bit of information this morning, so it'll be helpful to have mom here so she can kind of listen in, right. too. Um, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and get your blood sugar checked, okay, to see if you need any insulin before breakfast. Wait, wait, again? Again. While we're in the hospital, there's a lot that can alter that blood sugar, okay? So we just want to make sure that we're giving you the, the proper amount. Okay, I feel like I'm getting stabbed all the time in my finger. I know. Is and it going to yeah. be like this forever? Or? Yeah, it is. It, it's kind of confusing because sure. it seems like, you know, he's doing it all the time. So sure. why do we have to do this well, so much? Well, right now we're just trying to get everything regulated. Um, okay. So kind of what's going on in your body. So when you eat, um, the foods that you're consuming are giving your body the energy, the blood sugar mm -hmm. that it needs um, to make everything work properly. Right. Um, so with type 1 diabetes, your body is not producing any insulin at all. So we have to oh, give wow. it artificially wow. to kind of push that sugar, that energy into the cells um, to fuel your body correctly. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's, that's why I take it when I, when I eat, right? right. Okay. Well, right. that makes okay. sense. And, that's yeah. why we and you have sure. to know what it is in order for you to give me the right, a certain amount of insulin? Right. Okay. And so the whole goal okay. of this is we're going to try and get your meals to correspond with the, me the insulin so that you kind of are on a schedule and it okay. won't alter very much. Okay. Does that okay. make sense? Okay. Okay. Well, and once we're he's discharged, will we have to be on a similar schedule? Um, for the most part, like I said, we try and regulate that. Um, so as long as your meals are kind of consistent, um, okay. you know, carbohydrate, uh, carbohydrates kind of affect that a lot. Okay. Um, we're going to kind of keep, we're going to monitor your diet, kind of keep it consistent. Consistency is key with diabetes. Okay. So okay. And then that sure. insulin should be kept pretty consistent too. Okay. And they'll give you key tips, you know, if, if you can't eat at a certain time, what's going to happen with your blood sugar and the rises and falls okay. and things like good. that. Good. Good. Right. Okay. Great. Great. Thanks. All right. Thank you, nurse. Let me just go ahead and get your armband scanned here. Okay. I'm going to go over this in step-by-step -step detail. So if you kind of want to watch closely okay. so you can see how it's done, Absolutely. Um, that would be beneficial, okay? Yeah, I'm going to stay with her for a few days so that's, she can... That's probably a very good thing, too. Yeah. Um, get some gloves on in here. Excuse me for mm -hmm. Always make sure before you start anything, because you are drawing blood, make sure you do wash your hands before. Um, okay. I'm putting on gloves, but I did wash my hands too. That okay. Came in. Okay. Got 
and alcohol swab here. Always make sure you're clean in the pad of the finger um, before you do anything also, okay? You okay. Can I, I use the same finger every single time? You can actually change it up because okay. those fingers might get a little bit sore because they okay. do get oh, I see, pretty I see. frequently. Okay. Okay. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the kind of lateral sides of the finger here. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and clean the entire fingertip. Okay. Okay. And before you even stick, just go ahead and start, if you put your hand down a little bit, gravity okay. will kind of draw that blood up. See how it's oh, getting okay. red when I push yeah, it up like yeah. that? It is red. Okay. It means the blood's getting there and you'll get a good sample okay. that way. Uh, okay. that, so that, that facilitates um, more blood coming out when, mm -hmm. when you stab me with the thing? Oh, yep. Okay. Because okay. they're, you know, they're at the tips of your, kind of at your gotcha. body, so your blood's not I really. I see. I see. Okay. So you pull that up. Mm -hmm. A little good massage there. Take this little sticky thing, okay? Is this gonna hurt? Um, again? it shouldn't be too bad. Just okay. a little prick, okay? okay. All right. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. Ouch! Not too bad. No, not too bad. Okay. Just... We'll take this little strip here and get a mm -hmm. good sample of blood. Okay. Okay. See how it filled up there? I do. I do. Oh, you fill right. up the whole the whole thing. I see. That's okay. right. Okay. Okay. Then you'll stick it in this mm -hmm. machine. Okay? okay. You'll do the sample in. Just like that. Okay. Okay. All right. See that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty okay. Cool. Okay. And then it'll take a couple seconds to kind of read. Um, mm -hmm. You can take a little bit of gauze and just kind of, you're not bleeding too much. But no, it, no, it actually stopped yeah. bleeding pretty much. Yeah, but, but um, you can cover some okay. gauze with that for a okay. couple okay. seconds to stop the bleeding. Okay. okay. So I see here that your blood sugar is 190. Oh, the reading oh, yeah. right okay, there. I see okay, it. I see it. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to make note of that in the computer over here. Okay. 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 Is, that, is that that's a good reading? Uh, actually, 70 to 110 is a good reading. That's oh. kind of your okay. normal golden range there. Um, okay. So 190 will require a little bit of insulin. Oh. Um, I'm going to make a quick note of that on this computer here. Okay. okay. So I guess that's a, that's a high reading for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And I'm going to run out and grab your insulin and your breakfast tray, okay? Since they're supposed to be given together. Oh, great. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely starving. I right bet. Now. Yeah, first thing in the morning, I'm starving too. Yeah. All right. Anything else you need while I'm out? Um, to just to, just the breakfast. Okay, good enough. Be Thanks. back in a couple minutes, okay? Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello again. Oh, hey. I'm back. Good, good, because I am starving. I know. I see your breakfast tray beat me here, huh? Yes, yes. All right, well, we'll try and make this as quick as possible. Okay, okay. Um, and we'll just get that food right in your system, okay? Great, okay. great. Um, go ahead and state your name and date of birth again for me. Okay, it's Rusty Zora. Okay. And it's uh, November 6th, 1989. Okay. So we did that before. We do it every time? Every time. Okay. Make sure okay. we're giving the right meds okay. to the right patient, okay. okay? It's very important around here. All right. Um, let me just check the doc's orders here. Okay. Um, so your blood sugar this morning we got just a couple minutes ago uh, was 190, right? right. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So according to the doc, um, we'll be giving four units of insulin today based on that reading of 190. Oh, okay. Did, did you call him or? Did... No. So he does um, what's called, he has composed a sliding scale. Uh, which basically means if your blood sugar falls within a certain range um, that he's already, you know, preconceived, um, you will be given a certain amount of insulin based on oh, that I range. See. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. So okay. So it can vary. So if okay. your reading this morning was super high at like 270, be obviously another... we'd be giving you a little bit more um, okay. to bring it back down. Okay. Does that make sense? And I'll have that same deal at home, I guess, in order to know how much insulin to give myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. So what I have here is the, the insulin 10. Oh, wow. That okay. looks like a magic marker. Yeah, it, it does. That's interesting. Um, so basically what you'll see here is there's a little dial on this side here, okay? Um, and that's where you're going to adjust yourself how much mm -hmm. insulin to give. So each click is one unit. So oh, I okay. four okay. units earlier based on that 190 Oh, wow, that's reading. easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yep. So you just do one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Okay, so because it's 190, okay. Yep, because right. it's 190. And if it goes and higher, always, I, would, I would click it up higher. Mm -hmm. I see, okay. And you can always, if you mess up, if you go too far, you can back it down. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So nothing's totally set in stone until you actually push this button here. Okay. 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 I use this one time. Or um, I can you use... can use the pen each time. If you see here, there's no needle on there yet. Oh, oh there's okay. insulin in there. There is. Oh, wow. There is. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, is that... Nurse Betty, could you come in here for a quick second? Hi there, Rusty. How are you? Uh oh, hello. Hi. Good to see you again. Yes. Taking care of you yesterday. Yes, Rusty. you were. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, that's right. 
So we're getting ready to give insulin here. Okay. Okay. Um, All right. Let's see. That says uh, Rusty Zorad, November 6, 1989. Okay. That's it. That's me. All right. <laughs> Let's see what your order is mm -hmm. here. Okay. The sliding scale was sliding scale. 190, so you're supposed to have four units. Let's have a Can look here. Can you tell me here. what I have there? Okay, you got four units. Cool. All right. Okay. Great. Well, right? Great right. to see you all. Thank again. you. Good, good to Thanks see you. Thanks, buddy. Bye. So she had to double check with you? Yep, because insulin's a big thing here that we take very seriously, so we just have to make sure that you okay. know everything is, is correct and according to what the doc has prescribed. Right. So the dosing is that important? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, because did the doc talk to you about hypoglycemia yet? Um. Briefly, I'm, I've heard the, I've heard that word before. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Do okay. I know what that word means? No. Not so much. All right. So hypo means less than, lower. Okay. Glycemia comes from that sh blood sugar. Okay. Glyce okay. Is, is blood okay. sugar. Okay. okay. So what happens with insulin? That's why we always give it with food. When you give this insulin, it takes all the the sugar that's in that blood and it drives it into the cell. Remember okay. what we were talking about okay. earlier? Okay. Right. Right. So if you are giving this insulin with no blood sugar, it causes that blood sugar to bottom out. Okay. So the food okay. kind of counteracts what's going on with the insulin to keep I, everything I in check. See, I see. I see. that makes sense? So you're giving your body the energy it needs without causing any type of side effects. Okay. I see. So you Does take it sense? so you take it with the meal. Absolutely. And if you if I like missed a meal and I took it, then my blood sugar would, would drop and I'd be hypoglycemic. Correct. Is that right? Oh. Mm -hmm. And okay. then you get all kinds of kind of scary side effects. Shaky okay. right. confusion. Okay. That kind okay. of thing. Okay. Okay. We okay. Always so want to try I, I should watch that. out for those kind of side effects. Absolutely, and that's one thing that you should be aware of too, Mom, okay. because it can be a little bit scary for him. Just kind of take note of those symptoms. Okay. okay. Got it. Yeah. We'll make sure to cool to identify that. Yeah. Okay. So you know. Okay. okay. So Great. injections are always given in the abdomen. Okay. That always gives the, that provides the fastest absorption. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, so you can kind of rotate sides just like you do with the finger stick. Okay. Okay. So, so, you, so you don't put it in the same spot every time. Mm -hmm. Nope. And so what's unique to this is you'll, I'll show you how to do it, okay. obviously, mm -hmm. but you're going to put it in, and when you press down on this little button mm -hmm. here, um, that's going to inject the insulin, and you're going to leave this in place for 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Okay, okay that allows okay. all that insulin to be um, absorbed. Okay. I see. Got it? I see. Yeah, it, it seems pretty okay. straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, it's it not too yeah. bad. So yeah. I'm going to demonstrate. Mom, you can watch. You can watch as well, okay. so you can start to learn how to do okay. it yourself. Okay. Now, okay, so this is going to go in my abdomen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That's probably going to hurt. Yeah, bad. I don't know. Like the finger stick, you'll get used to it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. And then you can eat, so you won't okay. think too much about okay. it. You need that. to squeeze a finger. Okay. Go yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and do right. that. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Let me just get all the IDs and stuff scanned. All right. Go ahead and scan that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'll scan mine so okay. they know that I'm giving it to you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and get my gloves on here. Mm -hmm. So I'll be doing this at home mm -hmm. um, myself, right? Yeah. I, I don't have to have her do it. I uh -huh. can do it myself. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, that's one, another perk about it being in the stomach is that you have both oh, okay. hands free, so you can you can do it yourself. The pen is really simple. It sounds complicated. So I can just reuse that, that pen again and again and yeah, again. Yeah, the needle gets changed every time. Okay, okay. so you got to make sure to discard of that oh, properly. Okay. It is okay. a needle, okay. so be careful okay. you don't get stuck with it. Okay. 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 Um, Again, just like the finger stick, you're going to always want to clean the site, okay? If you want to go ahead and get that stomach lifted up a little bit for me. Is that, is that good there? That's okay. perfect, yeah. Then you'll clean mm -hmm. always a larger area than you intend to, to stick, okay? And that, okay? That, that gets rid of, uh, like, bacteria and yep. stuff. Yep, okay. yep, yep. Always trying to prevent infection. Okay. Okay, you can pull this cap off. Okay. Keep the cap. You can reuse it. Okay. Same thing. You're going to clean the tip of this, okay? Oh, because you're reusing okay. it, it gets exposed to the air okay, and, so, and therefore so, bacteria. So my, clean my abdomen mm -hmm. and then clean the clean the, uh, the, yep. the tip of that. Okay. Yep. okay. And because each time this needle is brand new, um, see it tells you right here, it's sterile. Okay? Oh, so okay. unless you touch this, you don't have to necessarily clean this. Needle. I see. And okay. so that's the one that you put on this every time. This on here. Right. And mm -hmm. you throw that out when you're done? When you're done. Yep. Okay. So this just screws in like this. Oh, okay, screw okay. in until no, no. it won't go any further. Okay. Oh, Got it. Nifty. Okay. This cap will come off. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can get rid of that. And then this is always protected. Always be okay. careful to stick yourself because you are dealing with needles, but it is kind of has some safety measures attached to it. Okay. okay.
off. Okay. Okay. It just unscrews like this. And that goes. And then it's sharp. You always want to disclose it okay. in a sharp okay. container. Okay. 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 And then you put the cap right back on. Okay. And oh. it can stay okay. with you. And we're done with my, my, my belly here? That's exactly okay. right. No blood there. No, there's not. Okay, but we'll actually just apply a little bit of gauze just oh, to make okay. sure okay. that we don't have any bleeding. Okay, so you can mm -hmm. just hold that on I'll there. Hold, okay. Sounds just good. a little bit. Okay? That's good. Okay, very good. Great. What questions do we have? Anything? That was pretty easy, not actually. Bad, right? I'm, I'm, um, I, I think I'd like to give myself um, the injection next time. Is Absolutely. that okay? Absolutely. So, so I can sort of show you that I know how to do it, and you can correct me if I'm doing it incorrectly. For sure, and yeah. mom can watch too, that way yeah. we've got two eyes okay. on you. Okay. okay, good, good. Cool, let me just make note of okay. what we did, okay? All right, and then, time for breakfast. So oh, excellent, excellent. What, what do we have some here? eggs, toast, cottage cheese. Oh, cottage cheese, very, very high in yep. protein. Very mm. diabetes friendly, okay? Okay, okay. All Thank right. you so Enjoy. much. You're welcome. You're so helpful. Yeah, that cottage cheese looks good. Mm, looks delicious. Yes, it does. All right, Rusty, you enjoy. I'll be back to talk to you in just a couple minutes, okay? Thank you, Nurse Blaine. You're welcome.